Hey everyone, Sam Fan here, and today a van scouting video report. Shout out to subscriber Hapa117, he asked me to figure out the best way to use Kelly Onanik, so I came up with a scouting report. So if there's other players you guys would like to see, just put his name under the comment section. And also if you like this kind of program, add a like in the video so I know you guys want to see this again. So in the scouting report, I'm going to show you guys how to use his badges, how to make him play most effectively on offense. I'm also going to tailor make an offensive set for Kelly Onanik just for him so he can use in-game. And at the end of the video, I'm also going to run an entire offense for Onanik on Hall of Fame Sim for one quarter so you guys can see what it looks like. Alright, let's get to it Sam Fam style. In terms of badges, Kelly Onanik has got four of them. He's got Drop Stepper, Screen Outlet, and Brick Starter, and Charge Card. So pretty much because he's such a great shooter, check out his shooting ratings there, you want to run the pick and pop game with him since he's got Screen Outlet. Now he's actually also got excellent post control and post move, so you want to drop step in the post of Kelly Onanik. So pretty much his offense is set, pick and pop, and drop step in the post. Now you can see his hot zones, most of his shooting ones are to the right side, especially the right wing, he's deadly from mid range and the free. The best place to post him is obviously the left block because he's hot from there. Now in 2k, if you want to be rewarded with your shots, you gotta go from the hot zones. So here I'm shooting from his hot zone and you can see his release is actually quite fast for a big man. Now I couldn't get an excellent so it's pretty hard with him. But if you get it anywhere close to the middle on his hot spot, he's likely to hit it. See he hits two in a row there. But make sure it's a cat and shoot guy because this guy cannot shoot while he's moving. So that was a terrible shot. So make sure catch and shoot. Now if you're going to post with Kelly Onanek, it has to be the left block. Check it out. You must attack in the post via his hot zone because post shots are tough. So if you don't attack from the red spot, you're doing yourself a disfavor. Now to post up Kelly Onanek on the Celtics, you have to use the D-pad. So you're going to click left on the D-pad and then right again. This is because a quick pose up usually goes to Salinger. So if you want Onanek to pose up in the left block, go to the left side and call a D-pad quick pose up for him. Now let's look at the drop step. This is how you do it. Gear the left stick towards the basket and hold it in that direction. And then tap square, you'll pump. Now let go of the square, but keep pushing the left stick in the direction. Don't let go of left stick and then hold square again to finish the shot. That is the deadliest move for Kelly Onanek in the post. Check it out here again. I'm going to face up, take one dribble, push the left stick towards the basket, tap square, keep pushing the left stick. Now kick square again and hold square this time to finish. Nice, Kelly. Nice. All right, now let's focus on some plays that will help him with his pick and pop game. Now these plays are in the default playbook. So this first pick and pop play is swing one four one fist down. These are already in the Celtics playbook, so you can use them as is online and offline. So he pops out of that screen there with the point guard or Evan Turner this time. He is going to stick that J because this is hot zone. Second play you want to use for pick and pop in the default playbook is slice one five fist out. Same thing here. This is his code zone, but open enough, he's going to stick it. All right, now this time we're going to call a post-up play. This one you want 2-4 power. But before you call the play, you probably want to send Kelly Onanik to the left block first because he's hot from there. If he probably is going to dump the ball in, cuts through. If you want to pass, you can because Kelly Onanik is a good passer. But if not, drop step, pump move. Absolutely deadly from the hot spot. Now this time we got him in the cold spot, but that's okay. We're going to use manual cut. I'm going to stay as every Bradley after I pass it in and get that handoff because Onanik is a good passer. So to do this, you want to click X to entry pass. Now hold on to X. Don't let go. So if you don't let go of X, you stay as Avery Bradley. Now when you cut through, when you let go of X, Olenek is going to pass it to you, so you can finish it up. Alright, so check it out one more time here, with the man you cut through following a post entry pass. I'm going to call 2-4 power, get it to Bradley, he's going to dump it in, I'm going to hold on to X, so look, look, I'm still Bradley, I'm just going to do my manual cuts with Turbo, get in the space I want, let go of X, he'll pass it, and I'm going to finish it up. Alright, now let's run an entire quarter of offense with Kelly Olenek versus the Brooklyn Nets. This is on Hall of Fame Sim. So this time you guys can see what it's like in-game. Everything we just talked about is most effective moves, you're gonna give it to him. And remember, with Odin Leg, you want to run a 4-1 offensive set, space the floor. Because he is a stretch 4, stretch 5 type of player. So that will help him the most. So here it is, we got him in his hot block. We're gonna do the move. Now, if the move does not work, in this case it didn't, don't force it. Kick it back out, repost, face up, and just keep attacking. Odin Leg is also decent out of the face up. So don't force the post move. If you need to repost, do it. Alright, this time we're going to try to get Olenek a good pick and pop look. I suggest post him up at the beginning first because you don't want him to start off shooting. His offensive consistency is not that high, so you want to get him some easy looks before you run the pick and pop. So I ran a pick and roll here. Not a thing, but his passing skill is excellent. He swings to the Bradley for the corner free ball. Nice, Kelly Olenek. Nice. Alright, so this time I'm going to show you guys that Kelly Olenek, when he's running pick and pop, is actually a pretty distracting player. Look, he's drawing a lot of help as he pops. So I'm using it twice here, 
and the defense is absolutely breaking down, which gets me the straight cut out of the free ball from the corner. Bang! Kelly Onanek drawing every defender when he gets the fade. Now, Kelly Onanek overall is a pretty terrible defensive player. He did okay here, but he has to just stay on your feet. Now, he's a good screen outlet passer, so he was able to grab the rebound, kick it to Crowder fast, and we moved it up court really quickly. So, start your fast break with Onanek because he has got screen outlet. He is quite good at that. So, here it is. I'm calling that 2 4 power. I got him in his left block, his hot zone. Cuts through. I don't want it. I'm just going to attack with my drop step post move. So, push the stick to the side. Tap it, hold the stick, and click square again. He is absolutely deadly from there. Alright, this time we got him in the right block, so I don't want to attack from here. I'm just going to kick it back out and run a pick and fade, and hopefully get something out of it. Nothing. We switch the ball back around. I'm going to try to get Olenek in the left block again, because he's deadly from here. Get him the ball. Oh, don't reach! Kelly Olenek with the throw down? Damn. Alright guys, we got him a dunk. So at this point, I know he's, you know, doing pretty good. He also got a dunk. So I'm going to be more confident with shooting. So I'm going to get him some pick and pops now. But here you can see again that his defense is not the greatest, but he's, yeah, he's good enough. Just stay on your feet and challenge the shot. Don't do anything fancy with him on deep. Alright, so after the dunk, I feel pretty confident on offense. I'm going to get him some pick and pop looks. Send him right to the hustle zone, corner free ball. Great look, but I shot the shot wrong. Not the best timing. So practice is important, guys. But that was a good look, so I'm feeling okay. So here it is. I'm running on the pick and pop. Brook Lopez reach. Kelly Odenick teaches. Oh man, I can't believe I just said that. Bang! Kelly Onanik with range. So here is again, swing for a fist down. Remember, all these plays are in the default playbook, so you can use them online and offline. We're going to shoot this clock clock winding down free ball. Because this is hustle, he sticks that tough shot. So yeah, Kelly Onanik with range. So first quarter was over, I was able to run the entire offense through him. We actually got a 4 point lead, so that was impressive. He was uh, 13 points, 4 rebound, 1 assist, 1 steal, and only 1 turnover. So very efficient. You can check out the highlights here again, I'm going to show it. So if you guys want to see a scouting video report of a player you like, leave it on the comment section. And also please add me a like so I know you guys like to see this program. Alright, Hapa117, I hope you enjoy that. So uh, let me know. As always, thanks for coming by. I'm checking out. Me and Kelly Onanek is going to see you next time.